Uh, right, so finally getting round to uh, doing my prop shaft. Uh, the U joint is completely worn to buggery. Um, so what I'm going to need to do is obviously that flange there has gone around bolt, so that's four bolts. Looks like I don't know, 12, 13 mil. I'm going to need to take the transfer box guard off, and hopefully that's just going to slide out the transfer box in there. Um, it looks like I've got a bit of a leak in there as well. So I'm going to investigate that while I'm there. Obviously make sure your car is in park, handbrake on, chop the rear wheels on. Don't work under your vehicle with jacks supporting it. Always make sure you use uh, axle stands or usual bollocks. But anyway, so yeah, full bolts. Don't do the flange end. And then up in there, it should just pull out. I might not even need to undo the uh, transfer box guard, but I'm going to investigate where the oil's coming from. So, anyway, I'll quickly do that. Right, and after a bit of uh, whew, effort, I couldn't get to the top bolt on that, so I had to piss around for a bit. Um, you basically just knock that down off the flange it bolts up to, and then that pulls out. Um, it turns out on what I just did this on, a Pajero, you do lose quite a lot of oil out of the transfer box. But I was looking for an excuse to redo the oil in it anyway, because fuck knows when it's last done. Anywho, um, turns out this end is actually not too bad, but this end is just completely, and you can see in there, it's just disintegrated basically. Uh, that is just completely and utterly fucked. Look at that. That is what you call worn. So, what I'm going to do, make sure you don't damage that or the splines on the inside either, because uh, that could be bad. Circlips inside there, inside here, um, same on the other side. I'm going to take this bit off. Um, some vehicles will have little clips on the inside. You just basically get a screwdriver and hammer, just knock those out. Um, so basically, yeah, I'm going to clean these up, just make sure you keep everything clean, because the cleaner you keep it, obviously the less shit will go all over your new bits you're going to put in. But, um, I'm just going to quickly clean those up, get the circlips off, and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Um, unfortunately, um, I can't obviously film and do this at the same time, but these little, um, clips have been right bastard. Uh, so I'm doing, I'm cleaning them up, putting some penetrating lube in there. Um, trick is, is obviously, when you got your pliers in there, and you obviously try to pull them out, obviously sometimes it slips off and it keeps snapping in, because one end is stuck in there. So what you do, if you can get one end free, put a little screwdriver in there, and start levering it up um, as you go around. I've got two screwdrivers there, and what I do... It's obviously with one hand, I'll get my pliers, squeeze them together, get that underneath this edge, lift up like that, leave it in there, and I'll get this other screwdriver, and I'll come under here, and I'll start lifting it up like this, and then it should just ping out. Obviously, these are pretty much buggered anyway, so it doesn't matter if you screw them, and I've got new ones with the kit. Um, but yeah, I just got this one to go. They're, they're being a pain in the ass, to be honest, but. Um, yeah, um, I'll see how long this one takes me, um, then uh, we'll be on the next step, so, yep. <clears throat> right, now, I am hoping this is going to work as it should. Um, in my vise, um, I've got this position like so. This is going to be the first thing I'm going to take off. So what I've got done, I've got a little socket, um, which fits in the inside bit there, so the little like bearing end cap thing. That's actually pushing against. And I've got a socket here which is wider than the hole. So I'm hoping that's going to push this this way. And I'll push that bearing end cap out. And then once that end cap's out, I should just be able to bash that and all do the same the other way around. And then get that one out. Then this end bit will come off. And then repeat the same process for that. Um, obviously, this isn't an overly large vice. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Right, I've got an assortment of hammers. Um, try this one first. Just give it a gentle. Give it a 
this way you can tap. Oh, something's happening. Now, I think that slipped out of alignment. Uh, so I'm just going to put the camera down, get a bigger socket. Yeah, you can see what's happened in there. Uh, um, then try. Right, basically, uh, I'm having to be very, very careful because uh, this vice, as you can see, isn't exactly a big one. And uh, obviously, um... <sighs> fuck you, why won't it focus? Yeah, that doesn't really fill me with confidence. China. Um, but I've been slowly putting pressure on. Um, this damn camera doesn't ever want to focus. And then, obviously, tapping round these bits really carefully. And it did just move. Um, I did put loads of penetrating lube in there as well. So, I mean, slow and steady wins the race. There we go. It's starting to. It's going. As you can see now that socket is all the way in there. My uh, bar o power. If we let that off. Gently. We should now. Okay, that needs to come out a bit more. That end cap hasn't completely come out yet, but it's going. The, the main thing is that it is going. Um, so once it's going, you should be alright. Just slow and steady, because if you break your vice, it's well, <laughs> game over really. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna continue with that. Uh, do the same on the other side, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do down there. Alright, what I just did, um, that one wasn't popping up, uh, hang on, this end cap wasn't popping up properly, so what I did, when I was like that, I got a ball joint separator, and very, very carefully, got that in there, on the one that's been pushed in, started lifting it up, and what that does, that'll make this one that we're trying to get out first, pop up, and then what you do, get a pair of grips, like so, I don't know if I'm going to do this one handed, <sighs> probably not, like so, and then twist it out, and it should, hang on, just put the camera down a second, Eventually, twist out. Uh, oh bloody hell! This is just completely and utterly wrecked in there. Um, but now it's the same process. Uh, I'm just going to push this, this, this that way. Pop that out there, and then this will be detached. And then it's basically the same process with that. But I'll show you what I'm doing anyway. Um, so I'm just going to pause it again. Right, after a bit of bashing and swearing and generally getting wound up, it's out. Um, what I should have said at the beginning of the video is obviously mark up everything. So uh, before you start unbolting this, mark up the relationship ship of the prop shaft to obviously do, uh, the front differential and that so you can get them all lined up the same way. Same with this, make sure you line up this with that. Just make sure everything's still in balance. Um, because, yeah, well, it's just good practice, really. And I'll show you, be a bit annoying if you go put a nice new UJ on, it's still vibrating when you go down the road. Um, if you're doing this on a Pajero, uh, be aware, uh, mine is 1995, and I believe if your Pajero is in the same range as that, there's a change over years, apparently, so it could be one of two UJs. So I've bought two to make sure and I'll just take whichever one I don't use back but by the look of it I don't know um, let's try the big one first um, uh, butt fingers <sighs> oh, 
It's a box within a box. It's like a Russian Chinese doll. Russian Chinese doll? I mean Russian doll. I don't know what I'm doing. I never know what I'm doing. I don't know if that's evident. But... I'm crazy! Right, um, no. This is far too big. Far, far, far too big. Uh, hmm, so it'll be the little one. Oh well. I'm used to having a little one, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. So, um, yeah, anyway, I was going to say, um, when you get these off, uh, obviously, careful to not get spline and shaft too dirty in it. Uh, you got little grooves in there where the clips sit. Just give everything a damn good clean up. Uh, check for burrs. Um, just, I'm going to give this a good degreasing, get it all nice and clean. Um, same for this. Uh, when you take this journal out, make sure you tidy up all in there. Make sure they're a bit clean. Um, I'm going to put a bit of oil in there to help the um, bearing end cap seat in there a bit better. Um, it's just going to make life easier. Um, so anyway, I'm going to uh, pop these out. Um, when you get the end caps off, um, I've heard the best thing to do is because there's loads of little needle roller bearings. Get some grease. Um, oh, grease gun hanging up there. So I'm just going to pump some grease in the bottom, and that's going to keep the needle bearings um, central. And hopefully, you know, stick them in there so you don't lose them and they don't go everywhere because that would be bad, 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 bad. Um, so wait, anyway, uh, I just got to make sure that's the right one before I go any further. And then, yeah, I'm going to be taking this off. Um, so I'm just going to pause it again. Just have a quick handy hint for you. Um, this clip in here this just will not focus. There you go. Um, it was completely C solid. Um, so if that happens, um, I've got a chainsaw file here. Not focusing. Yeah, well, anyway, you can roughly see what's going on. Um, got a chainsaw file. What I did is I put it in the little holes and I sort of tapped in there, broke off that end, tapped in there, and it started pushing it around. So that just breaks it off. I mean, you could use a nail, screw, um, whatever. But now, hopefully, uh, that should pop out and then I'll be ready to knock these ends out. Um, I just want to show you just how bad this actually is. I mean, you can see that. Look how much movement there is. <laughs> I mean, what's happened is the little needle bearings um, completely disintegrated, and so is half the bearing end caps by the look of it. I mean, that is just completely shagged. <laughs> Alright, now you can see uh, more closely. What I've done, I've done the old uh, socket, had the big socket this side to push into, and I drove it through with that side. And then what I did, so I got the ball joint remover, because obviously this bearing end cap was pushed up here. Now I've separated them, so that end cap is in there, and it's poking out. So if I take that out, we've then just got this just floating around in there, and with a bit of persuasion, uh, I might be able to get a drift and knock that out. Same for this side. Well, actually, that side I could probably get the grips on. Pull that side out, then this will just come out, knock that out, and we're done. The next step will be clean them up, and then reassembly. Uh, so, yeah, it's a nice way of doing it, that. Uh, yeah, so, well, get all that tidied up then. Right, so what I did, I obviously I've got that seated in there now, but I cleaned up these, um, as you can see, or probably not on this bloody stupid camera. I got a little curved file, cleaned all the edges up because they had burrs on them, because obviously everything's just been rattling about, causing carnage. Um, cleaned up all the insides, cleaned up the little grooves where the pins sit, put a bit of grease in there. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, what I do, uh, this is just some standard LM grease, which you get in grease guns. I get a load on my finger, and then I just go, put a load in there. These haven't got them in at the moment, um, but you seal the little needle 
roller bearings uh, it just holds them in place and yeah I just squidged those down they actually went in quite easy because I did a good job cleaning up don't put the uh, grease nipple on because obviously all the grease that you put in there you know, if you put the grease nipple on you'll never get those caps on because obviously the pressure will just hold it um, all open so you won't be able to close them down properly uh, yeah and it just spills out there so uh, obviously just watch out for that um, yeah then basically what I'm going to do uh, knock these in I'm using a soft mallet to do this be careful um, luckily these went in so I was able to push those on by hand so I knew that the um, journal was sitting in the end caps properly so that when I hit it I knew like roller bearings weren't going to go anywhere so I'm just going to get a socket, put it underneath, just tap it down um, put the clips in and that will be that bit done and same for the other end and just bolt it all up so uh, yeah that's pretty much it um, if I have any sort of further comments then I'll add them on the end of this video but I mean, that's pretty much it uh, really just make sure you grease everything up put everything back on the same way it came off in classic Hange tradition um, fitting is the same as disassembly or whatever they normally say a load of bollocks but um, yeah just make sure uh, obviously when you put your clips in um, make sure that this is turning freely so you might need to give it a bit of a tap that way a bit of a tap this way just to make sure it's spinning freely but as long as it's not too tight you'll be alright anyway um, yeah cool and we're done um, when you've got both sides in and clipped on it might be a bit stiff um, so what you want to do put a bit of wood under here then just get a soft hammer and just tap the edge of that that way and then turn it over do the same you might need to do it a couple of times but um, eventually it'll uh, get loose and yeah there's no play in that at all now um, it's nice and tight this other end is mm, it's a negligible amount of play really but yeah it's ready to go back on um, I'm going to grease that end up make sure you grease that and remember to refill any um, fluid that you lost out of the uh, uh, transfer box as well um, but I'm going to uh, drain and refill it anyway I think because I, I haven't done it yet so anyway I hope that's of use to somebody out there um, overall um, apart from taking the damn thing off which took a while it probably took me about an hour about that so yeah nice easy job and you'll save yourself a hundred or a couple hundred taking it to the uh, garage so go for it Alright, 